Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Diamond Addiction. This is Valerie. I decided to do something a little different. I'm going to do a video of me putting a kit together. Uh, it's the custom that I just unboxed of my mom and dad. Uh, instead of sitting here being all sad and missing my dad, I figured I'll just make a video and randomly babble. Uh, so in preparation for doing this, I've divided all the all the drills up over here uh, to make this go by a little faster. Uh, I'm going to be doing this one in the Craftsmates lockables. Uh, very sturdy unsnap it, open it up, and it's got these little containers. Um, I also took my canvas because it's Hua Can, doesn't come with a an inventory sheet, so I photocopied the key, wrote on here mom and dad, because I was amazing and cut the picture out of it. I did make two copies because this one goes in my binder of things to keep safe and don't ever lose. And this one will be kept in here. Um, I also made the labels that I will need with the numbers on them. And then uh, this right here says mom and dad. That will go on the outside of the binder. And here's all the labels. Sorry, I was working outside and just realized how gross my fingernails were. I was working outside today and didn't clean them out, I guess. Anyway, sorry, randomness. Um, so right here... I don't ever write on this one, and I don't know why, because I could just exchange it. Instead, I just slip this one in here. And then when it's on the shelf, because I have a few of these with different kits in them, uh, I'll be able to tell that this is the one of my mom and dad. Smiley face, reminding me to smile. Okay, so... I do this a little bit weird. Um, these right here all come out. You can't lift these open. Like, I am seriously pulling on them. You can't lift them open until you push this purple button right here, and then they pop right open. And if you let go, they don't pop anymore. You can close them without pushing the button. Sure you can, see? You can close them, and then you can't open them again until you push the button. So I'll put this up here. Okay, the way I do this is a little odd. Um, so my first color is 154. And here's the bag of 154. And I fold it up. And I put it in here. And I close it. Now when I go to knead that color, I'll dump it out into here. Um, and then use it. I don't know, it's kind of fun to see which colors you've used and which ones you haven't. I'm entertained by many, many random things. And then I just put the 154 sticker on there. So I know that that's 154. Uh, I don't put the symbols or anything on it just because I always, always, always work with this next to me. So I just look. This is the symbol I need. This is the color I need. Get it out. Place the color, or place the drill. Um, the next one is 168, and that's this one. So I'll just put it into here, close it up, and put a sticker on it. Boom, done. Uh, 224 is this one. Make sure all the drills are down at the bottom. Fold it up, put it in there. And done. 
So when I get to a number that's a little bit bigger, obviously 310, yay, only a few. Uh, if they take more than one spot, then I will open them up and put it into, uh, dump the drills out and fill however many I need to. But so far, 311, so far I haven't really, I mean, this is what I've done. I haven't needed to do that yet. And 312. My dad had really bright blue eyes, so I'm hoping that they will they will show in the picture. Next one is 315, which is this one. And look at that. First section, all done. So then I just pull out the second one, put this one back, and 336. So push the button, open them up. And these are actually really good sized. They hold, they hold quite a few, quite a few drills. So there's 336. Put it in there, close it up, and put the sticker on it. And 355. This is this rust color? Put it in there. Close it up. Done. 356. Let's see on here. It tells you that that's color 10. The number is 356, and there are 446 in this bag. I've never actually taken the time to count them out and see how many there actually are. But sometimes it'll tell you that there's 20, and you can look at it and tell that there's more than 20 in there. And 413. So the longest part about all this is really writing the labels and dividing the drills into, I divide mine 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, etc, 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 so that it's easy to grab the one I need and move to the next one. There's 721. See, we're already in the 700s. This goes by really quickly like this. And 722. This has 2,423, give or take. And even that, I don't need to dump it out of the bag. It fits in that. Down with the second one and grab the third one. And this is 758. And I forgot to open all these again. And see, you can. So, say these are all full of drills and I need this one. I can push this purple button and lift only this one, and none of these ones will lift. And I can just dump them out into my big oversized tray, drills, dump them back into here, close it up, locked. So I do like the way these lockables are done. And I use these mostly on my, uh, on my customs or really large kits. So anyway, that was 758. done. And here's my 800s. Here's the first one is 814. Fold it up. Fold it up like this. 
and stuff it in here. Close the lid. Put the sticker on. And second thing, here's 815. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. I've got my son and my brother are out in the in the family computer room playing computer games and sometimes they get a little loud and rambunctious out there. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but if you can, I apologize. Uh, 823. And put on the label. Done. Now 900s has kind of a bigger pile. So we'll see if any of these need more than one. Or if they need emptied into it. There's 900. And see they're yelling out there in the other room. I'm not exactly sure what they're yelling about, but I can hear them. And here's 902. I think my son is playing World of Warcraft on the computer, and my brother, I think, is playing NBA 2K19 or whatever basketball game just came out. So they're either talking to each other or they're both randomly raging at their games out there. I'm not sure which. <laughs> this says 919 and I'm looking all over for 917. Didn't find it, but you know what? There's 919. Which is the one I was supposed to be looking for. But my mind read 917. See, that is, each one of these has seven colors, so that is 21 colors. Ready to go. So let's see. What can I tell you about? I don't really talk too much about myself. I don't find myself all that interesting. There's 920. Uh, let's see. Favorite color, depends on what you're talking about. Overall, my favorite color would be pink and black. Clothes, if you're talking about clothes, is mostly grays, blacks, dark blues. Um, if you're talking about decorating things, you're talking pinks and purples. So I have different colors for different things. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I don't wear pink and purple clothes for the most part. I mean, I have a couple pink shirts and purple shirts, but I wear mostly blues, blacks, jeans, sweats, things like that. Don't do dresses, don't do skirts, don't like them, don't feel comfortable in them. There's 921. Um, favorite food. I love food. Food is my friend. It'd probably be easier to tell you food I don't like. I don't like Brussels sprouts. Blech. Nasty. I don't like Brussels sprouts at all. 922. I don't like canned peas. I find them mushy and disgusting. I love fresh peas. I love going over to my mom's house. And stealing peas out of her garden and eating them. Those are good. Um, I got married for the first time at age way too young. Um, I think I was 19. Yeah, I was 19. That marriage lasted ooh, 
10 minutes. 9.27. Uh, in all reality, we got married in December and we were separated by January, maybe February. Just didn't work. We were different. I wanted to leave the house. He didn't want me to. Ever. <laughs> Sorry. I found humor in that. <laughs> uh, here's 9.30. So, that didn't work. I told you I went to jail when I was 18. I didn't want to be back in jail when I was 19. Um, I got married the second time. And I've been married ever since, and we've been married for almost 25 years. He's amazing, and I love him. Uh, what else can I tell you about myself? I have seven kids. Ranging in ages from... Well, I've never actually compared their ages. Hold on, someone's calling me. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, seven kids. Um, my oldest one is 29. My youngest one is 16. I had my oldest one at a very young age. Um, very, very, very young age. And there's 9.38. I had five girls, and then we had our two boys. Um, they all live really close to me, except my second daughter who lives up north. I don't see her much. I would like to see her much more than I do. Um, I have seven grandkids. I thought so, but I had to recount that. Seven grandkids now. Um, Taylor's the oldest, and she is six, so that tells you how fast my girls started having kids. Uh, six little granddaughters and one grandson. Just one. He is very active and the girls are all the polar opposite of Jack's. But I love them all. Three of my granddaughters live up north with my second daughter, so I don't really get to see them. Uh, all the other grandkids are right here close. Oops, sorry. That's 948. Um, we have legal guardianship of my granddaughter. Her mother had some some health issues and personal issues and uh, it was just 950. It was just better for for Taylor and for her mom uh, for her to be with us for a while while her mom is dealing with those issues in her life. Uh, Taylor is six and she's lived with us off and on sometimes with her mom and sometimes without her mom for, I don't know, most of her life. Um, there was a period of time where she lived with her, her mom and dad. Uh, and then the, the health issues kicked in. She, she is a type 1 diabetic and she was misdiagnosed as a type 2 diabetic and we almost lost her. Um, 
like really, really almost lost her. If my oldest daughter wouldn't have gone into the bathroom uh, the morning that she did, Jessie probably wouldn't be with us right now. She had diabetic ketoacidosis, I believe is how that is said. Um, and her blood was so full of toxins that it was literally killing her. She was incoherent and almost unconscious when Nikki found her. Um, she was taken to the hospital by ambulance and was life flighted from here in in southern Utah up north and was in the hospital up there in the ICU for a while <clears throat> before they figured out what the problem was. Well, once we got her up there, they figured it out pretty quickly, actually. It was just down here that she was misdiagnosed. Uh, and her, her sugar is just way out of whack. So they're trying to figure out how to control that. Here's 3340, but look at all of the random not 3340 diamonds that are in that thing. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Uh, anyway, uh, she's doing better, but she's still not great. Um, they have, a, if she gets the slightest cold, her, her sugar just shoots through the roof and they can't control it. She has to be put in the ICU and have it controlled through an IV. 3371. So yeah, we've got custody of Taylor and she lives with us and she still gets to see her mom. Like actually last night she went and spent the night with her mom. Um, had a lot of fun. Tonight she's spending the night with her dad and her little sister hopefully having a lot of fun because that little girl needs some fun in her life. There's 3721. What else can I tell you? I live in the desert. Like legit, this is the desert. And I love it. Well, we lived in Wyoming for a while and it was just freezing and miserable. And I didn't like it. The summers here are extremely hot. Uh, today was over 100 degrees, but I still like that better than the cold. One of our favorite summer pastimes is to take our wave runners out to the lake and play. 3773. Uh, we have two wave runners. Um, sometimes the, the kids and grandkids go with us. Whichever ones decide they want to go. 37. Ah, almost did the wrong one. There it is, 37.76. Whichever ones want to go, go with us. It's always a good time. Uh, we have a tube that we pull behind the wave runners. Okay, let's be let's be honest. My husband pulls behind the wave runners because I'm chicken. And the kids. The kids love it. They have so much fun. And the grandkids, 3777. The grandkids, uh, we have life jackets for them and we let them just... We go across the lake and uh, beach and then people take the wave runners out. Some people are swimming, some people are fishing, some people are sunbathing. We just do whatever we want to. So that's my favorite summer pastime. My favorite winter pastime? I don't know. Not a big fan of winter, but winter here doesn't get super cold. Um, it just means that it's cold enough that I can't, we can't ride the wave runners. So I don't like that. 3778. <clears throat> we used to go camping, uh, but I had a horrible experience 
many years back with camping, so I just don't go anymore. I told my husband if he wanted me to go camping anymore that he would have to buy us a a camper with a potty and a shower. Okay, I could do without a shower for a couple days, but you know, I have to have somewhere to at least wash my hair and clean myself. It doesn't actually have to be a shower shower. Um, but I don't want to sleep in a tent on the ground because I don't want to. And I woke up one time in a tent with my feet in water and drenched and cold and miserable. And I don't like it. And I don't want to do that again. <laughs> so whether he decides to buy a trailer, a camper or not, I don't know. But we'll see. Otherwise, we can go up and rent a cabin. I like that color. It's 3810. We'll go up, rent a cabin, uh, and hang out in the cabin. Fishing, hiking, whatever is fine. Just no sleeping on the ground for me. And no peeing on a bush, behind a bush, behind a tree, on a mountain. None of that business. Um, what else? Okay, I don't know. There is 2546 of this color right here. And I don't know if that is going to fold up small enough to fit in here. I don't want to tear the baggie. Oh, it did, but if it was any bigger than that, I don't think I would I don't think I would get it in there without opening it. Um Yep. Forgot what I was saying. Just like that. Totally spaced it. So let's see. What else? Uh, my husband is a, a construction superintendent. And I am an office manager for the same construction company. Most days I love my job, some days I don't. Pretty sure that's the same with any job you work at, 3830. Some days you love it, some days you don't. Uh, the people I work for are great though. I do like them a lot. They're very understanding when I have to take off with Taylor because there are certain times that I just have to go, and they're very, very understanding about that. I've worked there for two and a half years, and my husband has worked for them since 2004, when we moved down here. 3856. Now my oldest son works with his dad out in the field, and my youngest daughter's husband also works with them out in the field. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me take a drink here real quick. Ugh, sorry about that. 38.58. So sometimes they're, the boys run a shovel and they dig. And other days they run track hose, back hose, loaders. Drive water trucks, rock trucks, whatever's needed. Uh, my husband teaches our boys to work hard, but work smart. 3860. He's a great role model for the boys uh, and for our son in law. My daughter and her husband got married in June. What else can I tell you? 3861. My mom still lives in this, in Southern Utah right here. She actually lives like know, three blocks maybe from me. Okay, now 365. There is 5,507 of these bad babies. They are not going to fit in there. Not fitting. Nope, not happening. So on this one, I will open it. And hopefully I won't make a big mess. Oh, 
don't celebrate yet. Don't celebrate yet. Yay! No big miss made. And then I will just put 3865 on this one. And nothing on this one. Like that. And I know. So even if there was another color after this one, um, I still just wouldn't put anything on this one. And then I would start the next color here and do it. I don't put a sticker on each one. I just know that if this one doesn't have it, it's the same color as that one. Even if I have to take up more than one, like I will show you. Oops, you come down here. And that, there it is. All kitted up and ready to be worked on. And then I'll take this, fold it in half, like this, and I slide it right into here so that it's good to go. And then you just fold it up, snap it, and it's done. Mom and Dad. So I said I would show you over here. Okay, so here's one. Uh, Cox Wedding. That's actually my boss's. I did an unboxing of this one also. Uh, so this is what I'm doing for their Christmas. So I don't think they know I have a YouTube channel. I guess I'll find out if I go to work and she says, oh, I see what you're getting me for Christmas. I don't know. So there's that. So also all kitted. I'm going to have to go through here because some of these had some static in them. Uh, and I'll just put dryer sheets, little chunks of dryer sheet like this in there and it, it'll stop the static. But here is 153s. That one's 153. That one's 153. And that one's 161. So I just leave a blank spot. Uh, here are 819s. All of those are 819s. And here's something crazy. This is also part of this. This is the rest of the 819s. All of that is all 819s. And then this right here is 3865. So as I empty out one of these, then I will just fill it up. I've got it labeled with Cox Wedding. Um, so as I empty out these, then I'll just fill them back up with, with the extras. So yeah, that's how they... That's how they all fit together in there. And then this just slides right in there. And when I go to work on it, it's all together. And this one I just, this right here, I just keep with this so that I know. Uh, I also did uh, an unboxing of The Walking Dead with Norman Reedus. And there is that one. So you can see there was two 451s. 23861s. There's no extras on this one um, that I had to keep in another bag. They all fit in here. So then, when they're on the shelf, like this, I can tell which one is which one. And then this just sits like that. All right, so I guess that would be it. I showed you how I use a Craftmates Lockables. And you can actually buy these uh, where it just comes with two sets and they're connected and then each side just opens. Uh, you can buy them like that also uh, without the, the purple binder. But I like mine like this so I can just Take them off the shelf, 
work on what I want. Yes. All of these are Christmas presents. Yeah. I'm going to be so busy. Uh, maybe next time before I do one of these, I'll actually, I don't know, print out a tag or something so I don't randomly babble. But if you liked this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You know you wanna. Um, I guess that's it. So you guys take care, have a good night, have fun diamond painting, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.